This week at Boone High School, staff got to take on a challenge of their own. String players got to show off their talents at the orchestra concert Tuesday night. And speech team is getting ready for their turn in the spotlight. Hello! A poverty simulation was brought to Boone High for staff to take a new experience. Aaron Michael has the story. On Wednesday, November 5th, teachers ran through a poverty simulation for professional development. Poverty simulation was um, a simulation of what families go through. They basically had to manage a week of time in a short period of time um, with limited resources and then go and try to get resources, go to a job, have the kids go to school, um, use these transportation passes because it's very difficult to do anything without gas. The teachers were paired into groups that were their families. Uh, we had to each play a character, and my character was very reliant on other people, could not function without them, and when there were no adults around, the kids had to take care of them. So that was something that I didn't always think about kids having to be responsible for. I think my main goal was um, just building compassion and reiterating um, the focus of the Torador way, how um, we don't know what, uh, what everybody's situation is. And I think it's really important that, um, that we understand that people have issues. Uh, I thought it was interesting to get an inside look of how families with poverty had to allocate their time and their resources. Principal Byam says the simulation was a success. No, I think it was, um, I think it was good. I think the, the best part of the simulation was afterwards when we had the the people that were here that have been living in poverty or live in poverty right now. And um, just to get the message um, that they work just as hard, if not harder, to try to make a living. And I think the main focus of that is just understanding that people have many different situations and that we as teachers have to help um, help facilitate that learning. This has been Aaron Michael from Boo TV. Now back to the studio. Every year, many students get involved with large group speech team. Here's Nathaniel Brown with how they'll be preparing for this year. With the year passing by, there are more things to be involved with at Boone. Earlier this week, the speech team held their organizational meeting to plan their 2015 season. Students involved in speech team will have the opportunity to compete in debate, large group, and individual events. In the past year, several Boone students have performed well in the regional competitions and had a chance to take their acts to the stage of the state competition. Tuesday, November 11th, around 65 kids attended the organizational meeting for this season's speech team. Coach Jeff Wells said he's hoping to get at least half of those kids to state. Well, our expectations are to, if we can get about half of our kids to qualify for state, that's pretty good. That's a better percentage than the athletics where, where only a handful of teams make it to the state mm -hmm. tournament in, in sports. So uh, we hope to get uh, half of our kids to state. And that's what happened last year. I think we had seven entries get to state last year, about 40 kids. Coming into our second year of speech team, junior Natasha telling Houston says her favorite part is meeting new people. Uh, my favorite part of speech team is meeting new people who are just as insane as you are. The team is welcoming many new freshmen this year. Freshman Levi Patterson is hoping to gain speaking experience by being a part of the speech team. I like the idea of getting more experience in speaking in public in case I want to be like a politician and have to do big speeches in front of large groups. In the coming weeks, the speech team will be practicing and preparing for the first competition, January 24th. This has been Nathaniel Brown with Boone TV News. On November 11th, an orchestra concert was held at Boone High School. Songs varied from Bach to Michael Jackson. Joey Brooks has a look. Boone High School performed in their first orchestra concert of the year. After hours of practice, the orchestra was able to have the performance that Mr. Swenson wanted. I was very pleased with the performance. Uh, we uh, were able to stay together well. It's a big group of students, and to be able to get all those people on stage to stay together and play well together is a challenge, and uh, I, I was very proud of how they, how they rose to the occasion. I was pleased with the turnout. We. Uh, being Veterans Day, we did a special number that honored the veterans, so I think we got some community people there that 
otherwise might not have come out. I think we were very prepared because Mr. Swenson did a really good job teaching us the songs. We spent a lot of time practicing them and perfecting them. This has been Joey Brooks with Boone TV News. Winter sports are approaching, and with that, Claire Anderson will explain more details with the girls' basketball team and how they're getting ready for this season. The girls' basketball season has officially started, and the girls are working hard to prepare for the season ahead. Coach McPartland is getting the team ready for the upcoming season. Uh, right now, our goals for the season are to just improve every day and to get better from practice to practice. I got a feeling that they probably are going to want to finish at the top of the conference and to compete to go to the state tournament. It's just a matter of um, continually fighting through that physical and mental battle. Really our goal during the summer is to help them become a better player. And so part of that is individual workouts and um, part of that is working together as a team. The girls are looking forward to playing and competing together. I'm looking forward to beating teams we couldn't beat last year and just having a good season. Well, I think our team's been working hard this year, so I hope we can make a trip to state. The Torridors have been improving with every practice and hope to improve on their 12-12 and -12 record from last year. This is Claire Anderson from Boone TV Sports. Along with that, boys swimming is also practicing for their season. Bailey Turner has more. The Boone boys swim team returned to action earlier this last week. The Torridors came back from a successful season last year with experience and senior leadership from Zach Barton, Ben Bozen, Magnus Sanderson, and John DeVries. And other notable swimmers back are Devin Baldus and Brigham Campbell. Uh, this year for team goals, we're looking to get one or two relays to state, and we're also hoping to get some individuals to state. This year, I think we'd like to get to state in our relays and the conference championships down in Decora. I'm most looking forward to uh, hopefully swimming in the state meet and maybe getting the butterfly school record. I'm looking forward to 6 a.m. practice for seven weeks. Boone will begin competition on December 2nd in Marshalltown, Iowa. This has been Bailey Turner from Boone TV Sports. November 4th, the volleyball team received the opportunity to play at regionals. Justin Elsner has the recap. I'm Justin Elsner from Boone TV Sports as the Boone Corridors take on Charles City Comets in the neutral position of Webster City Gym. The Torridors and Comets came out of the first set, exchanging points back and forth. It was close until Charles City pulled away late in the first, ending it with a score of 25 to 20. Boone needed this next set if they wanted to pull this off, but once again, Charles City pulled away late to secure their second win of the night with a final score of 25 to 18. The Torridors came out fighting in the third set and were firing out of all cylinders. The Comets came back and pulled ahead late to secure their third win of the night with a score of 23 to 25. McParlin ended the night with 17 kills and Overland with 25 assists. I'm Justin Elsner from Boone TV Sports. That's all for this week. Stay tuned to next Friday for next week's news. But before we leave, here's Question of the Week. Question of the Week. Question of the week. Be who you are and say what you mean. Because those who mind don't matter. And those who matter don't mind. Dr. Seuss. This week on Question of the Week, we ask kids, what philosophy do you admire? Now, philosophy can be a set of basic beliefs or uh, how you want to live your life. I, for instance, want to live my life by trying to love my neighbor, however and whenever I can. I live my life by Listening to what my parents tell me, advice. Jeremiah 2911. I like treat others as you want to be treated philosophy. The golden rule. I'd say kill them with kindness. Always look on the brighter side of life. Always try to do your best. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Appreciate life and stop and smell the roses. Do or do not, there is no try. Question of the Question of the week.